Restoring and rebuilding any camper can be a chore no matter the size and scope of the project. These days, it's not just about functionality as you're seeing some diverse ideas come to fruition. I'm Reacher. Whether it's a rainy day project, a need for mobility, or a good old business decision, these 10 vintage and classic camper restorations are sure to fit the bill. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. Number 10. In 2017, Timeless Travel Trailers collaborated with Austin-based Deep Eddy Vodka on restorations of three 1946 and 47 Spartan Manor trailers intended for use in a series of national marketing campaigns. Each of the 25-foot trailers were custom designed as mobile bars and lounges which required them to be outfitted with a reinforced chassis to accommodate the added weight. The side lowers down to create a stage or deck area with a section of the roof that opens gullwing style above that. Inside is a large wraparound lounge area at one end with a semicircular bar at the other. A centrally located product display case sits opposite dual flat screens that can be watched from both inside and outside. The retro decor on this one is nothing short of amazing, complemented by the branded wrap on the polished aluminum exterior. Number 9 Another one from the mines at Timeless Travel is this 1964 Airstream Safari. The interior is almost entirely covered in new and reclaimed hardwoods as well as the use of copper sheeting in the end cap of the lounge area. Running the length of one side is a countertop that pulls out for use as a desk space, while opposite that is a kitchenette that includes a glass sink, dual burner cooktop, microwave, and a refrigerator. A sliding door with etched glass closes off the bathroom, which has a petrified wood sink and a stand-up shower. Number 8 This fine example of a 1958 DeVille was restored by a gentleman who goes by the handle of Mobile Tech. A small dinette with bent seating sits at one end, looking like it came straight out of a 50s-era malt shop. The opposite end holds a queen-size bed with storage underneath. In between is a kitchenette having a sink with a hand pump and an electric faucet as well as an under-the-counter fridge and a triple burner cooktop with an oven. Number 9 If you like this mix of old school and modern day designs, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and a comment after this video. Number 7 After a one-year rebuilding process, this 1969 Bailey Mikado went from an empty shell that had to be reinforced just to be moved to the finished product that you see here. The all-white interior and large windows provide a sense of openness to a 13-foot space that would seem cramped otherwise. Bench seating spanning the width of the trailer serves a dual purpose as both a small dinette and an extra sleeping space. Beside that is a small kitchenette having a sink, a dual burner cooktop and stove with a decorative cutting board cover, and a mini fridge. The front of the trailer houses the bed which has plenty of storage underneath along with a wardrobe and cabinet space beside that. Number 6 this one from Canadian-based Sitka Concept was built by the owners for use as a permanent living space for their family. The entrance opens up to a surprisingly spacious dining area and kitchen with a triple burner cooktop and stove, sink, and refrigerator as well as a wood-burning stove in what would be considered the corner of the room. Moving back, you find a narrow hallway flanked on both sides by bunk beds. At the end of the hall is the bathroom while the main bedroom is on the other side of that in the rear of the trailer. Number 5 
After purchasing this 1982 burrow, the owners spent about six months getting it to the point where they were comfortable using it for local camping trips. The major changes to this one that I'm personally a fan of involve changing the rear bed that converted to a dinette to a permanent bed with a custom mattress. The original couch, which converted to bunk beds, was removed and replaced with a small dinette. Additionally, new strip flooring was installed over a layer of plywood, new carpet replaced the old along the raised ceiling, as well as new windows with Velcro attached covers. The kitchenette was spared with only minor changes that included changing the mini fridge to a dry storage box and covering its door with an awesome map of the Lake Tahoe area. Number 4 Known for building tiny houses, Wind River Tiny Homes does the occasional Airstream restoration. The use of non-traditional materials includes lengths of shellacked barn wood running the center of the ceiling with white paneling and corrugated sheet metal along each side. Down below, the flooring is composed of chipboard covered with a sealant, making it just as gaudy as it is eye-catching. The almost standard floor plan includes bench seating in the front that doubles as the bed. Moving back brings you to the kitchen, which has all stainless steel appliances, including a corrugated metal door on the refrigerator. Behind this is another bench with a countertop workspace sitting opposite. Taking up the rear of the trailer is the bathroom, which features walls of hardwood, a large porcelain sink, and a stand-up shower that uses a galvanized stock tank as its base. Number three. The crew at Flight Camp are top-notch visionaries as can be seen from this project and the many others on their website. The front entrance opens to the lounge area which has a couch sitting opposite and shelves along the front wall that hold a stowaway fold-up coffee table. Moving back you'll find the kitchen which utilizes both sides of the trailer having a large stainless steel sink on one side with a matching triple burner stove, oven and refrigerator on the other. Taking up the rear is an enclosed wet bath with a stainless steel lining and a bedroom with an east to west setup facing another door to the outside. Number two. This restoration wasn't a fully unfamiliar thing in regard to choosing to live in a small space. The owner, a lovely down-to-earth lady by the name of Jenna, had already built and roamed around in her own tiny house, blogging about her travels on her website, which I will gladly provide a link to in the video description. She ended up stumbling across a 1972 Hunter Compact Junior, which seemed to fit the criteria. All told, the trailer offered 60 square feet of usable space. The original stove and sink were kept in with a fresh coat of paint on the cabinetry. New custom-made cushions were added to the dinette, which doubles as a full-size bed. Pistons were added to help raise the pop-top roof, adding a few extra inches to the headroom, while down below the flooring was replaced with a vinyl resembling hardwood. The exterior was given a new look via a fresh coat of vivid yellow paint with red stripes accenting the sides. Although it's complete for the most part, there are details still being added with the most recent being awnings above the windows and door. Number 1 
I'm going to be honest with you about this number one choice. Originally, it wasn't. But in doing the research, I started reading the owner's blog. Her name is Jessie, and she started posting about her 1978 Dodge Commander in August of 2016. One of the changes to the layout was the removal of the dinette and its subsequent replacement with a built-in shelf and table combo that has a fold-out extension. Across from this is the galley, which retains the original four-burner stove with an oven up above instead of below. Moving toward the rear is the completely remodeled and restructured bathroom that saw the original wet bath replaced with a full stand-up shower and a compost toilet. The sleeping accommodations consist of a platform bed in the rear that raises for storage and a cab over single bed that lowers as needed. The outside still has that 70s color scheme we all remember so well, and that bit of originality is the icing on the cake for me. Now that you've seen all 10, are you feeling the urge to go restore a vintage camper yourself? If you've worked on a project or know someone who has, let us know in the comments. We're always up for a good story. If you've still got the craving for more campers, be sure to check out our playlists. We've got a ton of great stuff to watch that's sure to keep you occupied till our next camper video. I'm Reacher, and we'll see you on the next one.